My dad really wasn't in the picture uh, for most of my early years. He was uh, in prison. Uh, my mom was murdered when I was a year and a half, before I was two years old. I was raised by my grandparents. They got a divorce in 75. Um, so I was actually in a single parent home with just my grandmother. I just loved my father to death and the fact that he wasn't there and it really didn't seem like he reciprocated that feeling, it just made me sad. I felt lonely. When I tried to avoid that hurt feeling, yeah, that's when the anger comes, because that's what you use to, to not feel that. And to avoid feeling hurt, you jump to anger. It was, they call it a jumper cable. Anytime I go back to times where I was violent or, or got really angry, my focus narrowed down, and then the peripheral got real blurry. You know, so it was almost like just a circle and then everything around the circle was just gray or muted out. My wife and I were having an argument. I told her to meet me at the Starbucks, we'll talk. We got to the Starbucks, we started talking, so she got upset and wanted to leave. She walked out the door, I shoved her with my forearm and she fell to the ground. The police came, I was arrested. I remember Marilyn, I wanted to be in her group because I felt that she would push me and um, really not let me off the hook. I wanted to, it seemed like in my mind, I didn't think of it at that time, but now I wanted to be held accountable and really be forced to uh, have to face whatever it was that I needed to face to, to get through it. Just the damage I was doing to my family, my kids, my, my wife, just really didn't want to hurt anybody anymore. Everything has to be child-centered. It has to be the child's feelings and your actions and not the child's actions and how it makes you feel. The empathy piece is for the other person. The belief system, that's for me. And I had to start cleaning house and letting go of these belief systems that weren't helpful to me, my relationships, and who I wanted to be and where I wanted to be. I think I was always wanting to be in control and fearing that I wasn't in control and I feel I'm more in control today than I ever was when I was trying to be controlling. And my kids are feeling the effects of it definitely, of, of growing up in a household like that. Um, so hopefully for my grandkids, they won't experience that. It has to be something that you see as a problem. It has to be something that you see as your problem and you need to change something. And once you want to do that, I believe that there are tools and ways to be able to do that. This program has taught me that. It's like all the cliches. You feel like a weight's been lifted off your shoulder. You feel the monkeys off your back. You feel, you know, liberated. You feel free. 